question eight. Question eight um, from the Leaving Cert mock papers. A recent flood damaged a warehouse that contained 3,000 computers. An insurance assessor trying to estimate the damage takes a random sample. He takes a random sample of 140 computers and finds that 34 of them are damaged. So 34 out of 140 are damaged. That's your P hat. That's the proportion of your sample. Create a 95% confidence interval for the proportion of computers that are damaged. Okay, so the proportion of computers that are damaged, we want a 95% confidence interval. So we know that if we were able to get every single possible proportion from every single possible sample of size 140, and we did a distribution, the mean of that distribution would be the actual proportion. Okay, so we also know that 1.96 times the sigma of this distribution, which is known as sigma p hat, 1.96 sigma either side of p, sigma p, in here is contained 95% of all of our p hats, because this is a distribution of all the possible p hats if you were able to take every single sample, okay? Now, we're being told that the p hat here is of our random sample is 34 out of 140. So if we assume that that p hat is within that 95% interval, then we know it's in here somewhere. And if or in here, right, we can't tell which side it's at. But we do know that we can be 95% sure that it is 1.96 standard deviations away from the, the actual P. So if it was on this side, we would take P hat minus 1.96 sigma P hat, and that would catch our P in there. But we don't know that it's not on this side, so we also need to do P hat plus 1.96 times sigma p hat and that we can be sure 95 percent sure that our p is somewhere between those two values okay so um all we need to do now is fill in the values p hat we have here our sigma p hat from the log tables sigma p hat the standard area of the pop of the distribution of the um, proportions from the log tables the formula is uh, the square root of p times 1 minus p over n now we don't know p so we use p hat in this formula okay that should be straightforward enough in a way I shouldn't need to do anymore all you need to do now is work out what your sigma p hat is that's your sigma for this distribution like put, putting in the numbers into the formula, then you just need to take your p hat and add 1.96 times that number and subtract 1.96 times that number. So I'll give you the answer, I just want to save time. So that will, should give you 0 0.1718 p 0.3138. And that should be the answer that you get. And that's the interval in between which you are 95% confident your actual proportion of computers that are damaged lies. The next part of the question says, uh, find the 95% confidence interval for the number of computers that are damaged. Well, we can see here that this is 17.18% and this is 31.38%. Okay, because they're proportions. So 17.18% of 3,000 and 31.38% of 3,000. So best case, it's 17.18% of 3,000, which is 515.4. 
and this number is 941.4. Okay, so we need to round up because you can't have 515.4 of a computer damaged, so 516 and 942. Okay, so if the proportion was, that's the lowest it can be, we, we are 95% confident it's in that interval, so the lowest percentage that could be damaged is 516, and the highest, per, or sorry, the, the lowest number that could be damaged is that percentage of 3,000. The highest is that percentage of 3,000, and that's our, uh, that is our interval for the number of computers that are damaged. Okay, so the number of computers damaged has to be between that, or we're 95% confident. Okay, the sorry, the last bit of that question of that first part, uh, the assessor wishes to half the margin of error. So, what new n would he need to half the margin of error? Okay, now if you remember the margin of error, the margin of error is 1 over root n. Okay, so our original margin of error is 1 over the square root of what was the sample? 140, shoot, 140. Okay, so when we use a sample size of 140, our margin of error is this. We want to know what value of n will give us a margin of error. So our, if, we use, if we use a new sample size n, our new margin of error is 1 over root n, and we want that new margin of error to be half, I think it was, of the original margin of error. Yep. Okay, so now you need to find a. Now you have square roots on both sides, so the easiest and most logical thing here to me is to square both sides. So square and square, just remember that you're squaring the two as well. So 1 over root n squared just gives you 1 over n, is equal to, now that becomes a half by 1 over root 40, by a half by 1 over root 40, because a number squared is the number multiplied by itself. The 1 over root 40 by 1 over root 40 is 1 over, oh sorry, 140, 1 over 140, 1 over 2 by 1 over 2 is a quarter. Okay, so we get 1 over n is equal to 1 over, and 4 times that is 560. So our n would need to be 560, because if 1 over n equals 1 over 560, then n would have to equal 560. Okay, I'll pause it here and I'll do another video for the next part.